Devri Hayamim Shani, 2 Chronicles 26. Then all the people of Yahudah took Eth Uziahu, who was 16 years old, and made him king in the room of his father Amatyahu. He built Eth Elath and restored it to Yahudah. After that, the king slept with his fathers. Sixteen years old was Uziyahu when he began to reign, and he reigned fifty and two years in Yerushalayim. His mother's name also was Yakolyah of Yerushalayim, and he did that which was right in the sight of Yahuwah, according to all that his father Amatzyahu did. And he sought Elohim in the days of Zachariahu, who had understanding in the visions of Elohim. And as long as he sought at Yahuwah, Elohim made him to prosper. And he went forth and warred against the Pelishtim, and broke down at the wall of Gath, and at the wall of Yavneh, and at the wall of Ashdod, and built cities about Ashdod, and among the Pelishtim. And Elohim helped him against the Pelishtim, and against the Aravim, that dwelt in Gurbaal, and the Me'anim, and the Ammonim gave gifts to Uziahu, and his name spread abroad even to the entering in of the Mitz, rather, even to the entering in of Mitzrayim, for he strengthened himself exceedingly. Moreover, Uziahu built towers in Yerushalayim, at the corner gate, and at the valley gate and at the turning of the wall, and fortified them. Also he built towers in the desert, and dug many wells, for he had much cattle, both in the low country and in the plains, husbandmen also, and vine dressers in the mountains, and in Carmel, for he loved husbandry. Moreover, Uziahu had a host of fighting men that went out to war by bands, according to the number of their account, by the hand of Ye'el, the scribe, and Ma'aseyahu, the ruler, under the hand of Hananyahu, one of the king's captains. The whole number of the chief of the fathers of the mighty men of valor were two thousand and six hundred, and under their hand was an army, three hundred thousand and seven thousand and five hundred, that made war with mighty power to help the king against the enemy. And Uziahu prepared for them throughout all the host shields and spears and helmets and coats of armor and bows and slings to cast stones. And he made in Yerushalayim engines invented by cunning men to be on the towers and upon the bulwarks to shoot arrows and great stones withal. And his name spread far abroad, for he was marvelously helped till he was strong. But when he was strong, his heart was lifted up to his destruction, for he transgressed against Yahuwah Eloheyu and went into the temple of Yahuwah to burn incense upon the altar of incense. And Azariahu the priest went in after him, and with him fourscore priests of Yahuwah that were valiant men. And they withstood Uziahu the king and said unto him, It appertains not unto you, Uziahu, to burn incense unto Yahuwah, but to the priests, the sons of Aharan, that are consecrated to burn incense. Go out of the sanctuary, for you have transgressed. Neither shall it be for your honor from Yahuwah Elohim. Then Uzi Yahu was wroth, and had a censer in his hand to burn incense. And while he was wroth with the priests, the leprosy even rose up in his forehead, before the priests in the house of Yahuwah, from beside the incense altar. And Azariahu the chief priest and all the priests looked upon him, and behold, he was leprous in his forehead. And they thrust him out from thence. Yea, himself hasted also to go out, because Yahuwah had smitten him. And Uziahu the king was a leper unto the day of his death, and dwelt in a several house, being a leper, for he was cut off from the house of Yahuwah. And Yotham, his son, was over the king's house, judging at the people of the land.
Now, the rest of the acts of Uziyahu, first and last, did Yashayahu, the prophet, the son of Amotz, write. So Uziyahu slept with his fathers, and they buried him with his fathers in the field of the burial which belonged to the kings. For they said, He is a leper. And Yotham his son reigned in his stead.